Hello YouTube, what is up? Terra Artist Movie here with another Super Break Sign tutorial and today I'm going to be teaching you how to change your scene from a very very bright sunny day to uh, well a night time <laughs> and also I'm going to be teaching you how to change your scene from sunny day to rainy day like this look at this so <laughs> without the effects it will be like this there you go really really bright sunny day but we're gonna make it um, like a night time and uh, rainy day just like in uh, the, my previous video which is the Titanic 2 as you can see here <laughs> uh, just night rainy day uh, but uh, yeah, so let's just get started. So first of all, of course, you're gonna shoot yourself with your camera, <laughs> shoot some scene, and then <laughs> make sure it's bright sunny day. Don't shoot it at night; it will be uh, meaningless. So put your video, just click and drag it to the new composition, just like so. And as you can see here, there you go. This is uh, this is our video. Now to add some effects, instead we're gonna add some effects in this video. We're just gonna add some effects in the new layer which is the adjustment layer. So what is adjustment layer? So adjustment layer, uh, imagine it like this. Um, if you're back, you know, to After Effects, by the way. Um, imagine like your video is just like your photo. So instead you editing your photo, um, you just can uh, put just a see-through plastic. So see-through plastic above it. And then you can edit the color right there. So if there's something wrong, you just can just throw away, throw away the plastic. So I hope you understand that because my English sucks, <laughs> but I hope you understand it. So that's the reason we use another layer, which is adjustment layer. So it's just like a see-through plastic. Just imagine, imagine it like a see-through plastic. So instead, you put, uh, you put uh, effects in your real video. You're gonna put it here. All right. So um, but on that adjustment layer, we're gonna put effect. Um, let's see, car correction and then curves, and then here's the magic begins <laughs> we get to change it from sunny day to um, nighttime so from the RGB we're gonna press the triangle and we're gonna choose the red only so for example um, um, I don't know nighttime is uh, for me uh, it's identical to blue bluish color so uh, from red channel we're gonna put uh, the, the down part here down a little bit so as you can see here it start turning bluish greenish color as you can see just a little bit though and maybe uh, red channel up a little bit so it's not gonna be uh, so bluish so the skin color is still you know remains uh, the skin color <laughs> if you have some bluish skin color is gonna be uh, bluish greenish it's gonna be like like a hole I mean look at this guy um all right <laughs> actually it's my cousin if you're watching this video woohoo I'm sorry so green <laughs> green channel and then uh, put the uh, green channel down so it's gonna make bluish basically well whatever you want if you want to make it really bluish you can do that but for me I'm not gonna do it that much just like so and this one up a little bit so it's not gonna be that greenish and then the blue channel of course we're gonna put it up so it's basically it's blue there you go now after this what I did is actually just click on the effect click it and then control D to duplicate it and uh, as you can see here it's a uh, kind of a little bit too blue so for the uh, red green blue we're gonna back to red green blue actually before we duplicate it just gonna delete it first uh, back to red green blue the RGB back to the RGB and then put it down so basically it it will make uh, it will decontrast everything so there's uh we're gonna make it decontrast actually this is kind of too red so we're gonna back to the red channel just put the red down a little bit more like so all right so back to rgb there you go we're gonna control d now to duplicate it and boom and night time now if you think this is too colorful as you can see here the color is too vivid and maybe it's not so beautiful for your scene I, I, for me it's not really beautiful so for for me just gonna add another effect so effect uh, make sure you're still on the adjustment layer so effect um, color correction and then <laughs> we're gonna go to hue and saturation boom and put the master saturation down until you get what you want for me this is just about right and then the lightness if you want down a little bit if you really want to make it uh, like a night time with almost no light 
because in my scene here in previous video is actually in the middle of the sea in the middle of the ocean as you can see here oh, oh where is it oh here, here's <laughs> yeah so yeah so this scene um master ma master lightness put it down and saturation if you want to put it down too is fine whatever well, well depends on what you need all right so basically we're done here for the uh, uh sunny um from uh, day to night effect here we just uh change it as you can see here before after before after bright sunny day boom nine times so easy Yahoo! <laughs> just by two uh, effects curves and hue and saturation all right so if you want to make it rainy all right so um i've seen a lot of tutorials on youtube that uh to make it rainy so you go for another adjustment layer and then lots of people using this effects which is uh i uh using a particle effect so from that particle effect you have to edit the particle again um, it's kind of complicated, so I'm just gonna be teaching you the most easiest way that surprising a lot of After Effects user didn't even realize that the effect is actually there. <laughs> so yeah, all you gonna do is go to Effects. Oops, make sure you click the Adjustment layer. Go to the Effect, and then uh, where is it? Or Simulation, and then CC Rainfall. So there is actually a CC Rainfall, which is uh, a simulation for a rain. Look. Look. <laughs> so if you want to make it just a uh, regular rain, you know, just leave it alone. But for me, as you see here in my previous video, I make it like a windy rain, you know, um, some kind of uh, uh, yeah, windy rain. Oh my god, my English sucks. What is it called a windy rain? <laughs> and uh, yeah, if you want to make it like that, just yeah, just play with the settings here. So the wind, for example, if you want to make it just a little bit. Uh, you know a little bit faster the, the rain dripping and then the variation of the wind to make uh, uh, yeah the, lots of variation there <laughs> and the spread well just just play with this and uh, to change the uh, uh, oh there's also scene depth here I just just realize it too <laughs> and uh, yeah and for the uh, I believe for the uh, wind here is actually changing your um, direction so as you can see here in my previous video it's kind of a little bit uh, 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 diagonally as you can see here diagonally um, uh, the rain is kind of moving diagonally so <laughs> when I said diagonally I always remember Harry Potter 2 the scene when anyway <laughs> so if you want to make it like a little bit diagonally so the wind you're just gonna play with the wind settings as you can see here woo, to the to right and if you put it on the left it's gonna diagonally to the left and there you go guys very very easy effect but very powerful if you want to well if you got a camera that uh, the ISO maybe the ISO number is not very high so uh, obviously you have to <laughs> record it at a uh, daytime well you can use this effect you can change it from daytime to nighttime for the day to night you can use also Adobe Premiere Pro or Sony Vegas or lots of uh, um, editing programs but for the rain uh, the rain effect you can use after effects it's the easiest one just use CC rainfall I believe this effect is there uh, since after effects CS5 I forgot actually I think it's CS5 yep so yeah guys uh, or you can just uh, search for the effects right here instead you effects go to effects simulation and rain you're just gonna put you're just gonna click here effects and preset and just type in CC rain and there you go or just maybe rain if you type in rain I believe it's gonna come up too let's see Woo! there's no oh there you go CC rainfall <laughs> because uh, I believe in every um, After Effects um, version is gonna be different. So, for example, uh, in uh, this is CC After Effects CC is in simulation, but maybe in After Effects CS5 it's in uh, you know another thing like generate or something. Uh, sometimes it's changed. So just type it in the effects and presets tab here. Just type in rain, and there you go, CC rainfall. All right, guys. So. My name is Taras Movie. I hope you find this tutorial useful. I'm sorry for the lack of videos lately. I've been real, real busy with my uh, work <laughs> and uh, some life. There you go. <laughs> and uh, yep, I hope you find this tutorial useful. And by the way, lots of you guys also uh, been asking about uh, the uh, because I posted on my Facebook 
a page that I just got a Wacom Cintiq 13 HD maybe I'm just gonna be showing you the uh, well that powerful tool <laughs> actually yeah it's kind of pricey but uh, well it's just one of the best pen tablet I've I've ever I've ever bought <laughs> so yeah maybe in next video I'm just gonna be showing you um, my Wacom uh, Wacom is it Wacom or Wacom I don't know Wacom <laughs> Cintiq 13 HD all right guys so there are the movie here and uh, <laughs> I hope you find this tutorial useful this tutorial <laughs> useful and uh, see you in the next video. Ciao. <laughs>